Harjuku Arimura, who is in charge of women's empowerment, Sane Takaichi, internal affairs minister, and Eriko Yamatani, disaster management minister, paid homage to the shrine on Saturday. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe also sent his aide to make a ritual offering to the shrine. As leader of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party on Saturday morning, one day after he made a statement to mark the 17th anniversary of the end of World War II, which was accused of lacking sincere apology, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying says the Yasukuni Shrine was a symbol of the invasion war launched by Japanese militarists. The ministers visited the shrine that honors Class A convicted criminals of World War II. And whitewashes the invasion war on such a day when Japanese militarists announced unconditional surrender in World War II. It embodies again the wrong attitude the Japanese side holds on historical issues. Wang says only when Japan faces up to and deeply reflects the invasion history, draw a line with the militarism, can it unload the historical burden and face the future. She urges Japan to implement its solemn statement and commitment to China and the international community on historical issues with real actions and properly handle relevant issues, so as to regain trust from its Asian neighbors and the international community.